for more Nancy Drew. I already have one. And I'm your Gibbs, and we're not going to make any more tea. We've had two cups of tea. And pretty soon, if we keep this up, we're going to have to go to the bathroom. Alright, so we need to find a hammer. I don't know if there's one outside, but we're going to have a little peeky around here. We need a hammer to basically... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Take the nails off of that board in there. I don't know if we can go this way. See, maybe there's something around here somewhere. Oh! Looks like something right there. How do I get it? Whoa, creepy! Who's in the swing? Maybe I gotta turn around. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So we have ourselves a lovely hammer. Let's go back in here and while I remember, go get the nails off of here. This is our first little interactivity here. Boom, nails. Time now. to recharge the battery. Alright, let's put the grapes there. Nails there. Can't do that yet. Why can't I do that yet? And why does your voice sound so low? It's locked. Okay. Hmm. 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 Pennies? All right. Let's see if all those oranges did the trick. Go, oranges. Go, go, go. Oh, I have to look over here? It's not charged yet. Well, when does it charge? It's not charged yet. Um, uh, do I have to leave and come back, maybe? Hmm. Or are we going to pour paint thinner all over it? No. Picker, I don't even know what that picker is. Usually it's for light bulbs, isn't it? It's not charged yet. Okay, I guess I have to leave it and come back, maybe? Alright, well, let's go upstairs. This is such a creepy room. And we'll come back and we'll check on our batteries. Upstairs we go. It looks like the painting is missing. It sure does. I have it, though. Canvas. Yay! Now what? <laughs> That's it? We just put it back? We really only have two tasks. Mm, cotton. Oh, we lost our hammer already. That's sad. Oh, it's another little thingy for my phone. See? Cool, a little gem or charm or whatever you call those things. Alright, let's go forward. Mm. Somebody was... Oh, this is where the sleepover was. What's this? EMF reader? The Ghost of Thornton Hall. The Encounters Retold by Savannah Woodham. Wow. Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking into Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jessalyn during the day, but night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits get restless. In more ways than one, you'll probably get more out of the family than anyways. The EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there's a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. Hmm. Call me if you want to talk. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Alrighty then. Some more interesting stuff here. Mm, skeptic. Alright, cool. No. I guess I don't keep the book. Wow. No, oh, get out of here. There we go. Back up. Use now. How do I use it? Can I just... I'm not sure how to use it. The purse is here. I can't get at the purse. Hmm. No purse for you. Oh, another book. The Thorntons of Black Rock Island. Wow. How long is this book? Oh, two pages. Those who knew the pair knew that at the very least they must have been relieved to have each other's company in the last moments as the plane fluttered from the sky. 
the last flight of Karina and Dodge. Hmm. Is this fiction or fact? I don't know. Jackson Thornton. Feels like it's a little dark. I don't know if it's uh, anything I can actually tweak on the brightness. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Feels a little dark to me. Hmm. <gasps> Jeez, scared the crap out of me. Who is this? Is this Charlotte? Oh my god, it's Charlotte. Am I supposed to use this thing? What was that? I don't know, it's a ghost. Woo, it's yellow. Okay. What's here? The door, we don't know. No, go back. I want to see what else is here. Oh, that's the end of the hallway? Yes, it is. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. What smudge? Hmm. Hmm. Paint thinner. I can't pour this directly on the painting. Can we just... Hmm. Napkin? Oh, there we go. Yay. Where am I supposed to put it? There's something back there. Something's in the bushes. Who's what this? Is that? Who is this lady? Are those graves? Creepy. Guess that's it for cleaner. Somebody painted over that. Hiding the graves out by the fountain. Okay, so should we go to the garden? I'm not sure what else we can do here. Mm, let's go this way. Place is definitely falling apart. Oops, go back for a second. I guess I can't look at it. Alright, let's go. Sorting Family Cemetery, yeah. Let's dive right in here. Hello, handsome. Let's go talk to Blue Eyes first. Uh, let's see here. Hi there. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away. Fire so red, Oops, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk, but... I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. <laughs> with him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. Mm -hmm. I advise against it. Why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. Was it anything, something that would make you a danger to someone like Jesselyn? Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go, go on, get! I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and a long summer nights stargazing on the roof. I sure I would believe you. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. 
Would you like to run the company? Good sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Okay, a little bit of an overreaction there. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessen's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Sure. Scary. I'd better get going. Later. Later. Alright, now where was the uh, fountain? Because I think there was uh, something over here, maybe. Up this way. In here. Yeah, what's all this all about? 54 souls. What is this? How come this one's blank? Maybe we should go ask our buddy down there. I don't see anything else here. Hmm. Alright, let's go back and ask our good man here. Assuming he's still here, yep. Uh, you scared me. Good. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? Yes, yes, I yes, do. yes, yes. Then yes. listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Sure. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. Of course. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Okay, we're starting to get Goodbye. a little bit of motive here. Later. Later. Uh, Turns out I am interested, looks like. What you need? Not Goodbye. Sure. Bye. I, I guess we're done here, right? No. Nope. It's been there. I want to go here one more time. 54, 54 souls. Okay. Let's go, let's go back to the house. It's a creepy cemetery, I've had enough with you. No, I don't want to go this way. Uh, where am I going?
This way. Let's talk to our buddy here, our fiance here, find out what he's got cooking. Ah. What do you think of Clara? She's... She's just a little severe until you get to know her. Right. And then? I wouldn't know. You're totally holding something back. You're holding something back. So what if I am? God, what a jerk. Need something? How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. Oh my god. You can see it when she smiles. Wow. Uh, I'll never live that down. You think? I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're gonna get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night and by the time the sun came up it just stopped sounding so silly. Okay. Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. No, I don't what know do you what mean? you mean by that. Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Wow, he is shifty. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. All right, fine. I'd better get going. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so we're going to go ahead and park ourselves in front of the door, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is Nancy Drew. Bye for now.